You're watching the Norfolk Southern Sherwood Subdivision. I'm Harold. Thanks for watching. Today, a quick tip. I'm building Walther's Pella Depot. And I put the structure together, the base structure that you see here. I've painted it, the brick color, and I've attempted to add the mortar lines using thinned white paint. As you can see, I've overdone it. So now it appears that the structure has been whitewashed. It really looks awful. First inclination, repaint it, which I could have done. But it seemed to me that there might be another solution. So I'll show you that in just a moment. Let's compare. Do we think this section looks better than this one? Of course it does. So how can one get from this, which all of this looked like, to this. Well, the solution is pretty simple. It's Windex. What you can do, if this happens to you, is get a cloth, dip it in some Windex, and what you're trying to do is wipe off the surface which contains the white paint that's sitting on top of the bricks without wiping off the white that's between the bricks. You have to work with it for a little while to figure out what kind of pressure you use. But just that little bit of work that I've done there, I think you'll see, has made some improvements. So I'll do this all over the structure and we'll see how it looks when I'm done. When we started, it looked like this. With all this white here. And after we finished, it has a totally different appearance. After 10 minutes, we've done the entire building. And a couple of things you should know. First of all, I think you'll agree, the appearance is quite a bit improved. And the reason is we don't have the white paint on the surface of the bricks. It's between the bricks where it's supposed to be. A couple of things that you can do that might be overdone. In this area here, I rubbed too much of the Windex on there. And now I'm back to the base coat. So I'm going to have to fill in this with some paint of the brick color. But that's minor as compared to painting the whole thing over again and then trying this technique a second time. On the front, you'll see we've done a, a similar thing. There's some touch-up that's required to get some of the lighter white out of here. And you'll see on the surface here, I've done a little too much where I removed the the grout between the bricks, so I'm going to have to redo that and then re-clean it up. But I think you'll agree that for 10 minutes work, that's quite a bit of improvement. And I hope you try this tip if you've overdone some of your simulated grout. Thanks for watching.